Hello guys, pasyal tayo ulit sa Boston for a while kasi Labor Day. So, see you guys. Boarding na tayo guys. We arrived on our hotel around uh, 12 in the evening already. So this is the hotel at the Newberry, Newberry Guest House, Boston. This is their lobby, main lobby looks like. It's a very simple hotel guys. Good night. Okay, this is our hotel, guys. Ooh, Jaran Jaran. <coughs> Good for two, I yeah. Like the... so, so. That's me. So weird. That's me. That's my. This is the bathroom, guys. Bathroom, bathroom. Bathroom, bathroom. That's me. That's me. <laughs> that's me. That's me. That's me. That's me. Okay. Oh. Cabinet, cabinet. It's a normal cabinet. They have safety box. Oh, they have robe. See? Have they have robe. Oh. Unlike the big, uh, they have a little rep under. How come they are light? Okay, that's it. Good morning guys! Actually, we are in uh, Boston very late at night because our flight last night was delayed for I think one hour, more than one hour, honey? Uh, oh yeah, about one hour. Yeah, about one hour and so sad we arrived here in Boston already uh, past 12. Yeah, past 12. And we sleep uh, past 1 in the morning already so kagigising lang namin guys 9 25 in the morning so because labor day guys and happy happy labor day to all enjoy your holiday guys so let's do the vacation first and i'll show you around again here in boston and uh, somewhere thank you for the support guys see you all soon Hey guys, our first thing to do here in Boston is duck tours. This is how it looks like, guys. This one is a land ride and water ride. Oh. Okay. Worst case, we might have to. Yeah. Yeah. You know, guys, one thing I'm excited for this is, is going to the water, floating on the water. It's a it's a water ride and a land ride, so I'm excited. I'll show you later, guys. So update me. Like a duck swimming on the water. Oh, wow. oh my god! Oh, snap! We got the turn of duck. Now, let me introduce you to the best DJ 
DJ driver. Give it up for my man, Tang. Tang is going to be navigating us through this insane city of Boston. But you know what? As much as I love Tad, enough about him. Let's talk about me. Yeah. My name is Paprika. Paprika, double Q. And the double Q stands for quack, quack. Can we dig it? Yeah. All right. Now, y'all might recognize me because I am one of the founding members of Salt, Peppa, and Paprika. Y'all might be like, oh, my gosh, Paprika. What are you doing to DJ? Part B. Spin the road. Now, 
if you want, you can actually go in there and take a tour of the Tiffany glass window. But then after that, you can walk right up here. This is the Boston Public Guide. And I actually want you to notice the swan boat. Now everybody, those beautiful swan boats was actually inspired by this play called Low England. And in that play, a knight was pulled across the lagoon by a swan to save his fair maiden princess. I'm here to tell you, you won't be fooled by a giant swan. William Blackstone said, uh-uh, enough's enough. You're mean, you're rude, you're bossy on top of all that. You're gross and you're getting on my nerves. Seven, 365, seven days a week because it's more cost effective than having lamp lighters to turn them on and turn them off. I want you to look at some of the brick sidewalks. Some of these brick sidewalks are the original brick that was laid down when this neighborhood was first established. And I also want you to look for purple glass. Look at purple glass windows. those windows with manganese oxide so over time that sunlight hit them they turn purple now we have all of that plus over here check it out on your right everybody another reason you live over here next to the new state so Paul Revere and Sam Adams created the cornerstone of this building and the design of the building was created by Charles Vulcan in 17 98. I know it goes back. If you don't see that gold dome, don't sweat it. You're going to see a nice good picture of it when we hit the Charles River. Now quickly, on your right. You're looking at a statue, and it is the Robert Goulshaw in his Massachusetts 50 foot all the last direction. We're going to talk more about it, but I want you to look over here to your left. Because on your left, this is the opening of the new state house. I'm not saying his name because I feel like his mother got jokes. Not saying that. Now I want you to look at my girl here. This is Mary Dyer. Mary Dyer came to America as a Puritan. But after being with the Puritans, she was like, you know what? <clears throat> I can't deal with this no more. I'm going to find a faith that's going to make me better as a person. So she was like, okay. So she said, once I change my faith, I think this Quakerism is going to work out for me. The Puritan said, oh, you gonna be a Quaker? That's totally fine. You can't be here with us, so you gotta bounce. They exiled Mary. Mary came back and said, <laughs> they hung her in the Boston home. Oh. I know, I know. You know how it is, she's a witch, wow. <laughs> that in my head, that's how they was crying. <laughs> now because of Mary Dyer, her death was not in vain. She inspired our freedom of speech and our freedom of religion. Old West Church. Now the Old West Church was a stop on the Underground Railroad, one. Number two, this is also the voting place where John F. Kennedy cast his ballot in his presidential election that he won. Today, it's a daycare. <laughs> we usually have our little babies standing behind the bars like they're in jail because that's what school is. No, I'm a grown up. Oh. School is lit. Look at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> now everybody, we gotta talk about this ugly building on your right. Now even though this building is ugly, it was featured in a movie called The Departed with Leonardo DiCaprio. These are the actual stairs that Leonardo ran up to go inside the police headquarters. A couple of things though, them stairs, they don't go nowhere. Literally, they're blocked off on both sides. And then he was running inside the police headquarters in bread. Y'all know Spock? He's my dad. Wait, before y'all judge me, I'm gonna explain. But I want you guys to look over to, yeah, yeah. I want you to look over to your left. You're gonna see some red doors with the white letters that say the West End Museum. Now 
Now, the West End Museum was created by Leonard Nimoy and a couple of his friends, so that way nobody ever forgot what this neighborhood looked like and what it once was. Almost every single apartment building in this neighborhood looks just like this over here. This is an old tenement building. Now, look at how small and short this building is. From what I heard, nobody lives there, but you can Airbnb it out. I'm gonna do it just to be nosy. I wanna see what it looks like. Now, if all the apartments look like that, why does this bridge say it's just the greatest neighborhood inside out? I think it's because it was kind of like a cornucopia of different cultures, races, ethnicities. They love each other, they love each other. It was just a great place to live. Now, if you look to your right, you're about to see the Leonard P. Jacob Bridge. Don't worry, when we splash into the Charles River, you're gonna get a perfect view of that bridge. Now my people from New England, you will understand me on this. The Leonard P. Jacob Bridge is gorgeous from a distance. Because once you come here, this dome is the theater of electricity. That's where they show you how lightning's conducted. It's like boom, 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 boom. It's awesome. Sad little sound effect. <laughs> now, you also got to go and check out the planetarium. That's where you see the moon, the stars, the planets. It's awesome. You also have to check out the Omni Theater. Now, the Omni Theater is where the entire room is surrounded by screen. It's like you're in the movie. Of course, I'm going to talk about Tad's favorite exhibit. Now, there was this exhibit called Body World. It's where they showed you the inner workings of the human body from head to toe. And that is where Pebrica held a human brain in her hands. It's not gross, it's not gross. It's slimy, it's cold, and it's heavy, but you feel powerful! Because <laughs> I always feel powerful, Chad. Why is this a debate? <laughs> not weird. <laughs> so everybody, I want you to look to your left. On your left, you see that rock? Ignore it. I want you to look at this slab of concrete with the arc. The reason why that's important is because that is an actual piece of the Berlin Wall. I know. Now, the reason why that's here is because this is a campus of Education First. Education First's motto is breaking down barriers of foreign language and education. So, that piece of the Berlin Wall was a gift to the owner of Education First. What I said was, it must be nice to have rich friends because my broke friends keep giving me Dunkin' Donuts cards every birthday. Even though it is delicious and I love it, don't stop. <laughs> everybody this area that we are looking at you see this waterfall looking building this is the north american headquarters oh, of education first <laughs> now if you go inside this building you are actually going to enjoy a restaurant called lingo lingo is inspired by a different culture every single day the food is delicious but they're only open monday through friday so definitely check it out there stay over here because you're gonna see a skate park i know now this skate park, this is created by Nancy Shern. Nancy Shern is the creator of the Make Way for Dustling statues, the tortoise and hare statues. And she created this skate park because she got tired of seeing them skateboarders hate on her tortoise and hare statues. She said, oh no, this is a negative. We're gonna find you somewhere safe to skate that's not on Moscow. So she got Tony Hawk to design this skate park and the Lynch family was the largest contributors to getting it built. Now everybody, my favorite part's about to happen. We're gonna splash in. Can I get a what? What? <laughs> All right, here we go, everybody. So listen up. 